They have reached critical mass. CS Mott Children's Hospital, one of the largest in the state, says it is 100% full and families should call their pediatricians before heading to the emergency room. According to the CDC, 2.1 million children five and under catch RSV each year, and that's just the number of kids that don't have to go to the hospital, but it's the little ones who do need that advanced care that are the concern for us tonight. The Mott's chief operating officer says parents should expect longer wait times if they do have to go to the ER. They're also being forced to cancel some elective surgeries, all unfolding with the threat of flu season and a COVID surge still looming. We're seeing heavy, heavy increases um, in our RSV and What's making us concerned is that we've just started to see the flu. The fact that we're already at capacity and we're postponing surgeries um, and we haven't really seen flu or COVID yet is causing concern. No doubt about it. Let's bring in our Dr. Frank McGeorge, a problem not just for Mott. We're seeing this all over the place. Yeah, it really is, and it's a big problem for everyone. You know, the University of Michigan and CS Mott, or University of Michigan CS Mott Children's Hospital and um, Detroit Medical Center Children's Hospital of Michigan are really important resources with very specific expertise in caring for sick kids. And frankly, as a practicing emergency physician, I'll tell you, when we can't transfer sick kids out, it really creates serious problems. And we have already seen situations where local hospitals have had to transfer sick kids as far as Ohio wow. to get them inpatient beds. Wow. Mm. Well, obviously, I, I understand why doctors don't want you rushing kids to the ER, to the hospital if they don't need to be, but you also don't want your kids to stay home if they need to be in the ER. Right. You know, what right. gives? I'm, I'm so worried about this. Well, I think that is really an important point. I think what parents need to do is you need to be in touch with your child's pediatrician from the start of the illness. Hopefully, they can guide you through the situation on what to watch for and when a trip to the ER is truly needed. If your child's breathing is labored or anything seems to be getting more serious, you should go to the emergency room. Mm -hmm. But coming up at 6, I'm going to show you what Mott is doing to expand their capacity for kids and why it's really not just parents of children under 2 who need to worry about RSV right this now. It's going to be helpless for you to know that there is specialized care somewhere else that somebody in a family needs and there's no way to get it to them. There's no access because they are literally all full. Gosh. Yeah, yeah. All right, Frank. Obviously, we.